Hey, it's Kay Lowry. Today we're going to be playing on Dantino, and we're on page eight of the Hal Leonard book two. So what's very cool about this is we're going to be doing some slurs. Slurs are these big long lines that connect different notes. And what you want to do is draw some things on your music. First one is going to be C, D, E. And when you have a right hand slur that goes up, you're going to be using your wrist like a smiley face that you drew. So if you look at my watch and you just imagine that watch was a pen and it draws a smiley face, that's what you're going to be doing. And then the left hand is going to be playing C, C, D, E. When the left hand goes up, it's like a rainbow. It's going to go up and around. So I'll show you that on the piano so you can see what I mean. Now, if you want to, you can go through here and mark all of your skips. And you can mark any notes that you need. Notice that you're going to be playing in 3-4 time. Notice your rhythm. If you need to clap that rhythm beforehand, that would be a good thing. I'll meet you over here at my piano and we'll talk about slurs and the easy way to play them. All right, so the first phrase is C, D, E. Now, I did not connect that. But I'm going to connect it now and it will be as if I'm drawing a smiley face in the air. Smiley face. Here's the side view of what it looks like. Smiley face. Pause the video and you practice that one. Now let's go to measure five. We have D, E, F, and the side view is D, E, F. You can see how I'm using my wrist to go around. Pause the video and practice measure five. All right, let's go back and learn measure three and four. So here I am on bass C, and I'm going to be playing C and D and E. So to make that happen, I'm going to make my wrist go over a little bit. Here it is again. Of course, when I'm repeating a note, I have to lift up. Here's the side view. down low, it's going to be hard to make these connections. Your fingers are just like little branches off, or little leaves off the branch of your arm. Lift. Lift at the end of every phrase. Here are the first two lines. Rotate your arm to make it really connected. That's as simple as it is. Pause the video and practice measure 9 through 12. Here's measure 13 through 16, slow motion. Your hands are very still. 
Can you give it a little circle where it feels looser? Here it is again. the whole song looks like from the side view. Tino. It's a really beautiful piece and it gives you a chance to show off how you can connect your notes.